Hi, I'm Mark from Public Ohio Sportsman, and this is kind of a response video because we were asked about bowfin fishing, and I noticed that my son Noah's video about his bowfin uh, had a lot of interest in it. So I just want to show you guys the basic setup that I use for bottom fishing, uh, for catfish, for uh, bowfin, snapping turtle, you'll catch all kinds of stuff. I have a basic heavy rod and reel, a Shakespeare Tiger at Walmart that's 20 bucks with some 20 pound line will work just fine. Personally, I have 60 pound uh, spider wire on here for rocks. I fish rivers and you know it gets rubbed on a lot. Well, I have a five ounce sinker here, which is what I would use in a river that's fast flowing. You can adjust your weight accordingly. Um, if it's not fast flowing, I always get like half ounce or ounce sinkers that are egg sinkers and there's nothing stopping this either at all. This can move. It will sit on the bottom. So that's what you want. You want it to sit on the bottom. I didn't have any steel leaders. That's what the fishing line is. But usually you'd get a steel leader from Walmart. You would clip a decent size hook onto that steel leader. We're going to pretend that this is a steel leader. Then what you're going to do is I, I've been taught this not since I was a kid. You're going to put it through. Okay. Take it, wrap it around the main line six, seven times, if you will. This is one of the most sturdiest knots I've ever used. Uh, you do it right, you master it, it goes really quick. I do a little lick just so it has some sort of lubricant on that line. You pull it down, and it's not going anywhere. I mean, anywhere. That's not, this little mono will break first. So anyway, this is what it's gonna look like in the beginning. So you see how this can sit? This has something to stop it from going any further. It's gonna hold your bait on the bottom like this. Okay, and let's pretend that this pole is your pole. You have some slack line in it. See the slack right here? I don't know if I'm in the way. The fish will come and grab your bait and he will start taking it. You'll see your slack line starting to actually pick up a little. That's when you're gonna to wanna to pay attention and probably hold this pole. Then what's gonna happen is when he starts taking it, he's gonna start taking it. And you're gonna hear your drag because he's not gonna feel this weight at all. He's just gonna feel like he is taking off. Can you hear the drag? Okay, so while he's doing that, you strip out some line. Strip out enough line to where you can grab your pole. Take it. I usually go like this. I'll usually take two or three out like that. And because I'm quick enough, I tighten it, my drag right back up. And I'll lean into it like this. And then I know that that line's getting tighter and tighter and tighter. So once it's getting... I'm gonna reel it in just for purposes. So once it's tight and that tip is yanking and it's really going bouncing, I'm setting that hook. And because they don't feel that weight on the on the bait, it really helps. I've used this rig in Lake Erie, rivers, anywhere, catfish, carp, trout. Um, and you literally just accordingly adjust your weight and the size hook and the baits. And this is your go-to fish don't feel like they're dragging a weight behind them. So they're so much less reluctant to drop that bait so you can set that hook, catch that fish every time. And then one other thing I wanted to go over really very quickly, a friend of mine, Lane Pelfrey, what he did, um, he actually made this for me. And what this is, is just another like Carolina rig. So what we were doing, um, we were taking these circle hooks right here, how they're a circle and just a basic river float or river sinker. It's, I think it's two ounce or an ounce. And uh, we put chubs right here, live chubs. We'll hit them right in the snout, right through the bottom of the mouth. And they have about, you know, that much of a body. And the pike and cats and turtles love them. And then even if they die, 
you can put it on this hook and a bowfin will bite it as well. Um, so this is another go-to if you're tight lining and it's a calm area. If it's not so calm and you have some movement, get a heavy weight and put it down there and let the fish take it. Um, and until next time, like and subscribe and I hope I taught you something today and uh, don't outfish me if I see you.